Hi guys, welcome to Royal Logos. It's my pleasure to have you here and I really hope that you all are doing well. In today's tutorial, I will demonstrate you that how can you use Shape Builder tool of Adobe Illustrator in Inkscape. Shape Builder tool is very powerful and useful tool and this tool is not available in Inkscape. But there is an alternate method which is 100% as accurate as Shape Builder tool. So let's continue with today's tutorial. So first of all if your Inkscape preview isn't appearing like this then go to view and select it to custom. Again go to view, go to show and hide and make sure that all of these options are turned on. Then go to file, select the document properties, select the display units to pixels and custom units to also pixels. Change the width of the page to 1280 and hide to 720 pixels and simply left click on this cross icon. Now left click on this icon for fill and stroke menu then simply left click on this zoom to fit page in windows. Now select the ellipse tool, hold down the control key and then hold down the left mouse button then drag the mouse in direction like this. Now we doesn't need the fill so cancel it by just clicking on this cross icon and assign it some stroke color by holding down the shift key on your keyboard and left clicking on this black color like this. Then select the selection tool, right click on this rectangle and select duplicate. Now we want to place this quadrant of the circle at the object's rotation center. For this purpose we have to enable two snapping options. The first one is snap to quadrants and the second one is snap to rotation center. So first of all turn on the snapping options from here, then turn on snap nodes and paths, then from here turn on snap to quadrant points of ellipse then turn on this option which says snap other points and then turn on snap and items rotation center like this then hold down the control key on your keyboard then hold down the left mouse button at this handle and drag the mouse in inward direction like this and you can see that the quadrant of circle has been placed at the object's rotation center then right click at this smaller circle and select duplicate now we have to place this quadrant of this smaller circle at this quadrant of bigger one. So hold down the left mouse button at this circle and drag it towards this point. Again right click, duplicate it and now place this quadrant at this point. Again right click, select duplicate and place it at this point. Now we want to extract this shape from this arrangement and we can easily perform this operation by using shape builder tool. But in Inkscape, we will use an alternate method, which is Boolean operation of division. Remember that Boolean operations can only be performed between two parts, but here we have five different parts. So first of all, select all of these parts, go to path and select combine. Now instead of five different parts, it has now converted into a single part. Then select the rectangle tool, hold down the left mouse button and drag the mouse in such a way that it covers the whole body like this. Then assign it some solid color like this red color. Then select the selection tool and you have to make sure that this rectangle must be placed at the bottom of our main body. For this purpose left click on this icon which says lower selection to bottom and you can see that now rectangle is placed at the bottom and this body is placed at the top. Now we will perform the boolean operation of division and remember that boolean operation can only be performed between two parts. Now select both of these parts then go to path and select division. Now it will perform just like shape builder tool. You can delete the unwanted parts by using two methods. The first one is select the unwanted part with the left click of mouse and press delete on the keyboard like this. And the second one is that hold down the delete key on your keyboard and left click on the unwanted parts like this. Now select all of these parts, go to path and select union. Now to cancel the stroke color, simply hold down the shift key on your keyboard then left click on this cross icon. And you can see that we can perform the same operation of shape builder tool by using the boolean operation of division. Now please share your thoughts in the comments section. And if you think that this video helps you in some way, then please like and subscribe the channel. Thanks for watching and have a nice day.